Hey, Blues Lawyer, did you see our ghost picture from earlier? Now, I'll show it again for everybody who missed the real ghosts. Apparently, there's blood dripping off the wall in Anxious Alley's house, but this is, of course, this is, of course, the real ghost uh, pitcher, Moses. This is Mortimer Stump, a.k.a. Captain Richard. Uh, yeah, that that was the the preface of that story, Blues Lawyer, that I was looking for. Uh, the weird things found in the attic was Swedish bondage porn. <laughs> yeah, cap. It was omitted facts. I said weird things were found in the attic. All right, that obviously alludes to Swedish bondage porn. Uh, who knows? But how he died? I don't know if that's how he died. I don't know if that led to his death. Um, I don't know if that led to his becoming a ghost. All right, so he was looking around, and I remember lights flickering, and there was there was trauma. No, he liked it. <laughs> All right, so it wasn't it wasn't torture. He was just into it. It was just his thing, you know. Usually, you become a ghost because of some trauma, right? Like you you have uh, unfinished business in the mortal realm. Yeah, it turns out Mortimer lived to become a ghost. He just, he just, yeah, he wanted more Swedish bondage porn. He's like, it was his childhood dream. I can't leave all that behind. No, this is Captain Richard, the horny ghost captain. Some, Wait a minute, so Captain Richard's actually real? Yes, you've seen the picture. This is real. I saw some bullshit. No. Look, if you can go on, go on your Google and use that picture as a reference and look, scan through the Rolodex and find a movie where that's from. I dare you. Put it on Reddit. I've done it. I've challenged people. I've challenged the Ghost Federation. Um, they're always looking for, for shit like that. So I sent it to them. I said, hey, prove this isn't a ghost. They couldn't do it. That's the famous ghost. That's the famous ghost picture of the family. This is our family ghost picture that is famous. And it's an excellent one. Look at that's that. That's clearly a freaking movie play. Clearly not. Look at around. What do you see? Anything else around him? No, it's all black. And the TV was broken at the time. That TV didn't even There's work. There's not a way we could Shazam that image and find what movie frame it's from. Good luck. The challenge has been put out there to the Ghost Federation. They couldn't do it. So, Well, Mortimer Stump started this whole thing. He was the famous Portland ghost. Captain Richard's the famous Wellsville, New York ghost. Um, known for his love of Swedish bondage porn. Maybe cookies. The TV wasn't on. See? Blues Lawyer confirmed ghost story. I think that's just cognitive dissonance, maybe. Everybody remembers it not being on. No. no trust me. It was not. Look at, okay, look at the rest of the picture. Let's examine what was going on. Why? All right, we got a bunch of little kids. And look at that. Look at that one in the middle. Well, she's possessed. There's something going on there. Uh, all these kids look a little possessed. Like, there's definitely something going on. I don't know what you're saying, Jeff, because that TV's not on. What are you talking about? No. I it, see nothing. The TV's not on. The ghost is on. That's what's on. Well, he communicated through electronics, right? Like as ghosts are want to do. So nobody's watching TV. Certainly nobody's watching spooky old, creepy axe murder movie. Two confirmations. Well, it's, not, it's not a double exposure because it's too well placed and framed. No. And that, and that certainly doesn't look like me or Blue Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That was just a reflection of the camera. Yeah. It's like you're reflected in the TV. Happy birthday, <laughs> children! But look, in, in, in the back, and we've had NASA examine this, we've had other agencies take a look, and everyone has come back with the same conclusion. Ghost. You All know right. what it might be? It's obviously Robert Stack. <laughs> yep, Tacos was there. Ooh. Murder. The ghost of Robert Stack. <laughs> Fortunately, no. Um, and nobody was swept up in a weird Swedish international bondage ring later on in life, I don't think. Who knows? Actually, you know what yeah, we should do? Rushing river of elevator blood. <laughs> 
next episode, we will find everybody in this photo and see what they're doing today. What is... Oh, it? the recap. Yes, the recap. How has Captain Richard's ghost affected your life? Captain Richard's ghost recap. <laughs> So, true crime documentary. True crime update. <laughs> yes. Chance <laughs> there will be an update next week. True crime update. <laughs> Blue Slayer. He put all the all the porn and, and items out on the porch. Gone. <laughs> yeah. Captain Richard. Cap, that was Captain Richard's thing. Yep. He swept back in. He's like, all right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Blue Slayer. He <laughs> said, who's porn on the porch? I, uh, Captain, Captain Richard. Richard. And Cat, that's what ended the whole thing. We saw the TV. Oh, yeah. yes. That's it. That's it. That's how Blue's lawyer ended the curse. He he just he gave the porn back. <laughs> He's happy. That should be what most ghosts want. He never bothered us again. Cartons of old porno. <laughs> They're not online, you know, hey. so they just need they need, they need the analog porn. No, we're just conditioned to believe that that ghosts are after blood and. Murder and, nope. and souls. They need analog porn. Analog porn. <laughs>